bum bum ba boom bai lo bai lo bang 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 bai lo bai lo my name is Fred Coppin I'm a painter I live and work now in Chichester on the south coast think it up I generally describe my style as uh, optimistic impressions of real life. Uh, so I paint all sorts of things. Thankfully, I'm a very easily inspired guy. <laughs> There's interesting stuff everywhere. There's a totally mental world. It's completely weird. There's just colors and shapes and light everywhere. So it's a sort of seeming magic of something out of nothing. It can be a little bit of an odd existence, but I guess you spend 99% of your time in a room on your own. This is, this is what my mum got me for Christmas, a large ceramic foot. Got some absolutely massive dumbbells under here. Emergency chocolate bars. Sadly, they haven't seen any exercise since about 2012. <laughs> I pretty much always use oil paint. It's such a beautiful, slow, flexible, sexy medium. And I think you just get used to it. It's kind of maybe like a dance partner. You know, I could do the same dance with someone else and they're kind of the same moves, but it'd probably be a bit awkward and uh, wouldn't look very good. Sometimes what you envisage just isn't working and it's a bit of a battle and you have to go back and forth and work those problems out. And to be honest, I actually find a lot of the times those paintings end up being the strongest. You know, I'm not throwing away any canvases, it's great. I think with my work, if it can give a space or people an extra little sprinkling of optimism or hope. I mean, generally, if people look at it and feel anything, we're doing good. It's a real privilege to know that people are living with my paintings and the paintings are living with them. Um, so how would you describe all of what this art being to you? Big one. Um, I feel like art often helps articulate things that are quite hard to articulate in life. Having something visual that can kind of represent this space in between the weird world we live in and the weird brains we have is probably quite a satisfying thing. I think sometimes being able to see that and look at it um, can be quite a magical thing.